So the first condition is a clear understanding that education is the child's responsibility. When children know that they're responsible for their education, they take that responsibility. When they believe, they're led to believe that somebody else is responsible for their education and all they have to do is do what they're told, then they tend to do that in the minimal way and they don't take responsibility for their education. Second condition, unlimited opportunity to play, explore and pursue your own interests. Unlimited time, not an hour a day, not two hours a day, unlimited time. It takes time to try out different things. It takes time to get bored. To overcome boredom, you can't interrupt that with bells and telling people constantly what to do and expect people to really develop a passion. Three, opportunity to play with the tools of the culture, to really play with the tools of the culture. In a hunter-gatherer culture, those would be bows and arrows and knives and fire and digging sticks. In our culture, of course, the main tool is a computer. And it's not surprising that children everywhere in our culture love to play with computers. They know in their bones that this is the tool culture and they need to spend a lot of time with it so it becomes in a sense an extension of their own body. Access to a variety of caring adults who are helpers not judges. How important that last part is, helpers not judges. The last person you want to go to to help you learn something is somebody who's evaluating you. You're nervous about that person. That person is a person you go to in the frame of mind of trying to impress that person with how much you know, not to say, I really don't know this and I would like some help. Free age mixing among children and adolescents are absolutely key to the school. The school would not work if it were children all the same age because children don't have much to learn from others who are the same age. They learn from children who are older and from children who are younger than themselves. Six, immersion in a stable, moral, democratic community. Communities in which every child knows that their ideas and their actions influence the others involved in the community. So they're growing up in a setting where they feel responsible not just for themselves, but for the community within which they are developing.